An Eastern Carolina health care system is celebrating its future behavioral health hospital. Amrachi Uche went to a beam ceremony for it and talked to a behavioral health administrator, a nurse and the construction project manager. She's live now in Greenville with more. Amrachi. Yeah, Courtney, today a beam that will go to be in the soon to be gymnasium at ECU Health Behavioral Health Hospital was lifted today as part of its construction. Now, the ongoing project has been going on for seven months, but a lot of people are already excited to open its doors to help those in need. ECU Health celebrated the beginning of new possibilities in Greenville Tuesday as a beam for the Behavioral Health Hospital was lifted. This is a culmination of about 15 years of planning and strategizing at ECU Health. The beam, covered in signatures from caregivers at ECU Health, was hoisted in the air at 2820 McGregor Downs Road, where the new hospital will sit. Mary Branch Ellis has been a psychiatric nurse for over 40 years and says this hospital marks an important milestone for behavioral health care. Way back in 1981, people maybe not in this app to actually open up and talk about having a mental health diagnosis. And now they're willing to open up and seek services. So that is a wonderful thing. The new hospital is a partnership between ECU Health and Akeda Healthcare and will include 144 beds with 24 of those beds specifically for children with behavioral health needs. These beds will be the first of their kind in ECU Health's 29 county service area and the only one specifically for children within 75 miles of Greenville. It's just a real great honor to do something for the community um, as well as the state of North Carolina. The hospital will not only serve as a teaching hospital for psychiatry, social work, nursing, and other behavioral health professionals, but also offer support for the community. We all know that mental health is health, and we usually heal better when we have a nice surrounding around us. Simpson says right now they have to send patients over an hour drive away to get the care they need. So hopefully when this comes, they'll have a behavior health care right here in their backyard. Reporting live in Greenville, Amarachi Uche, WITN News. All right, thanks Amarachi. And according to project, the project manager, the hospital is scheduled to open next summer.